Oh God, those 50 soldiers killed my wife, my son, my daughter. What am I going to do? Where is the Holy One of Israel? Where is the God who came down to free us from Egypt? Don't you have the eyes to see the fields soaked in blood of the farmers? Enough. I can't go on anymore. I'm going to join my family. Mika. Huh? Who are you? I am God, whom you challenged. If you are God, then allow me to join my wife and children. I know your pain. You lost your wife and children. They are my children. I watched my children falling by the sword. Their cry pierced my heart. Then, why do you keep quiet? Mika, you won't understand my pain now. Your children are safe with me. Then please, please allow me to join them. Not yet. Your pain will turn into fury and strength. Go and face the commanders, the judges and the king. They rejected me. Make them drink the cup of my wrath. But, but Lord, I'm old and ignorant. Fear not. You will be filled with my spirit. Micah was filled with the spirit of the Lord. Receiving the strength, Micah became a new man and started his mission. Dayton, you coward! You murdered! Huh? You slaughtered my wife and children! You shed the blood of innocent! Who is he? That's Micah, the owner of this place where we built this house. So what? Guards, arrest that lunatic! Get away! Oh! Hmm. But when the guards came to arrest him, they got terrified because Mika was filled with God's spirit. You think you can live in peace in those houses? This mud was soaked in my sweat. This land smells of my children. Why don't you do anything? Uh, I, I am scared. You took over our fields. The hand of the Lord is about to fall upon you. Why did you let him go away after he said so much? It's true. Everything he said was true. Our hands are stained with blood. Mika, burning with the fury of Lord, walked to Jerusalem, the capital. After warning the judges there, he then proceeded to the palace to meet the king. Isn't that Micah? Yes, he is. But he... He looks so different now. Hey, did you hear that he terrorized the commander Dayton this morning? It seems the spirit of the Lord is upon him. All right. I think Mika has become a real prophet. You took over our fields. Ahaz, you corrupted one. How dare you sit on the throne of my servant David? Huh? You flooded the streets of Jerusalem with the blood of innocence. Shut up! This is the royal court. So, you are the high priest? Yes, I am. How dare you slaughter innocent babies in the name of sacrifices? Huh? It was. It was sacrifice to the Lord. You coward! Couldn't you cut your own throat and offer a sacrifice? Who asked you to offer human sacrifices? Stop it! I am the king in this country. I decide on laws and there are codes to ensure it. Because of you, Zion will become a claw land, Jerusalem a heap of rubble, and the mountain of temple will turn into a forest. Your Majesty, should we still tolerate this? Your days are numbered. A king will come from Bethlehem. He will rule in peace and justice. Shut up! It is God who made the king over this land. And God will pull you down from your throne. You robbed the poor and crushed the weak. Why is king letting him talk like that? This is what God asks of you. Act justly, love tenderly, and walk humbly. 
Jerusalem will be purified in fire. It will again become the city of peace and justice. Micah challenged everyone in authority, but no one dared to touch him. God was protecting him. And in a few days, the Philistines captured Morsheth and destroyed the city. Thus the words of Micah were fulfilled. Micah went around the towns and villages proclaiming the message of peace and justice. He was a man who was filled with the Spirit of God.